If you're toiling away in your garage, building a custom motorcycle on your own, but you're stuck and need help, then head over to my website and sign up for my free technical newsletter series. We're talking about paint, mechanical, electrical, metalworking and restoration techniques, all the things that you need to build a motorcycle at home. Head over there, sign up today and get started. Hey everyone, Matt from Crank Engineering and today we're going to talk about the most used power tool in my garage, angle grinders. So I've collected these four angle grinders over the last few years, so let's talk about each one of them and why they're useful and why I have them set up with the accessories that I've got. Okay, the first grinder I bought nearly 20 years ago is this old Makita, which is really bulletproof, can't kill it. It's noisy but needs some new bearings, but um, I'll do that and this will be good for another 20 years, I'm sure. So these three grinders are all four inch, these three grinders are all four inch uh, diameter uh, tools. So these are the cheapest ones you'll generally find on the market uh, for mass consumption. So this is the first one I bought. It's served me very well and still goes strong. Um, but when you're using grinders on a regular basis on a particular job, say you're cutting some steel, then you're welding, and then you're grinding or sanding a weld, it gets a bit tedious changing accessories all the time. So. When these uh, Milwaukee grinders came up on special, I paid about $50 each for them. So I bought another two. And that means I can be set up with a cutting disc in one grinder, and I can be set up with a grinding wheel if I want to, or a sanding or a flap disc in another one. And that just speeds up my workflow. So of course all this can be done with hand tools, but just makes it a lot faster with a power tool. So, Four inch, and then sometime later I bought a, this is an AEG, probably all made in China, but yep, made in China, uh, AEG grinder, but this one's a five inch, and the reason I bought a five inch, uh, or what it's been very useful for, is if I'm cutting, say, inch or inch and a quarter tube, I can generally get through with uh, one cut right through with this five inch blade, with a new five inch blade. Uh, four inch grinder, you might only get you know three quarters of the way through and then you have to turn around and cut from the other side and then you generally have trouble getting a straight cut. So this is great for cutting through tube in one slice. Uh, the accessories are a little bit more expensive obviously, but they do last a fair bit longer than the four inch one. So that's useful for cutting tube or I find. So let's talk a bit about the accessories that I'm using. Um, so this particular grinder is set up with a cutting wheel or a cutting blade and I use these one millimeter or 40 thou for you guys in the United States, one millimeter cutting discs and it means you can cut through two pretty cleanly and quickly. These particular ones are Bosch and I just buy these, uh, you know, when they're on special, uh, I just end up buying, you know, another box of 10 and I just keep them in stock so I've always got a few lying around so you don't have to use these ones but these ones seem to work pretty well for the sort of work that I do. The other accessories that I find very useful is a flap disc or a sanding disc. Uh, again this particular one's Bosch but that's only because that's what the saw stocks where I buy them from. Now these aren't really that cheap. They're, these ones here in Australia are around about seven to eight dollars each which is not cheap but they do last quite a while. I mean, you can buy them a lot cheaper. Here's some really cheap and nasty ones I bought from another store, and I think that was $7 for a packet of five. Um, they're not going to last anywhere near as long, clearly, because of the price, but uh, these are very useful, obviously, when you're doing some fab work or cleaning up uh, welds or uh, whatever on a motorcycle. This one's currently set up with a grinding disc but I don't generally use grinding discs that often, especially on motorcycle jobs. It's just too, too coarse an operation for a motorcycle where you need a bit more finesse and you don't want to take off massive amounts of material at any one time. So I tend to go to the flap disc before I would use a grinding disc. So a grinding disc I would be using if I'm doing fab work on heavier steel, you know, maybe six mil, quarter inch plate, something like that. On the old Makita, I've currently got 
a wire wheel. This one's missing quite a few bristles. That's because it's been used uh, for stripping paint. And you would have seen on my Hercus lathe videos, I would have used something like this uh, to strip the paint off the lathe. So this to me is one of my go-to tools for stripping paint or cleaning up rust off surfaces. So uh, this one pretty much stays with a wire wheel on it all the time. So I generally, Generally, for my own workflow, I keep a small box of four inch accessories and a box of five inch accessories near the tools at all times, so I can go and grab whatever I need and switch the, uh, the consumables over very quickly. Also, I have a bulk supply of consumables, which again, I buy this stuff when it's on sale. Again, because it's consumable and you throw out the leftovers, you know, I don't really want to pay full price for it unless I really have to. So this is my stock of five inch and four inch accessories. Um, new wire wheels, again, I buy these when I can find them on sale because they're a little bit expensive. They do last a while, but uh, uh, I do try and buy them on sale. I've got tons and tons of you know, four inch grinding wheels. These will last me a lifetime. I'll never have to buy these again. Like they came out of a, you know, they are bought by the box load. So some of my other favorite accessories, which I'll uh, cover in more detail in future videos, and I think I have shown these before. Uh, for stripping paint, and we'll do a video on stripping paint in a couple of weeks. But uh, these guys here, stripper discs, uh, they're a, I don't know what you call this, some sort of a synthetic polymer material, but it's very, very effective at getting paint off without taking off a lot of metal. So of course you could sand the paint off with a flap disc, but I don't, generally choose that option because I don't want to remove metal, I just want to remove paint. So paint stripping will be wire wheel and uh, strip it discs, clean and strip discs. I think in the US 3M make a similar product. Here in Australia these are supplied by a company called Josco. So very useful. Uh, I've got those in 5 inch and in 4 inch. You do chew through these pretty quickly so I tend to buy the larger 5 inch ones which last a bit longer even though they are a little bit more expensive I think on uh, you know it's a cost per operation I think these are a bit cheaper so I buy the larger ones where I can 4 inch ones don't last all that long the other things you guys might have seen in other videos which I find really useful are these poly flap discs so similar construction to a flap wheel but they've got rather than a sanding or paper and abrasive paper They've got like a 3M sort of scotch bright material. So these are a medium, I think, and then these ones are a fine. So the different colors indicate the different grades. Uh, but these are great for final sanding. Um, aluminium or steel, they work really well. They're a little bit expensive as well, but again, you've got to, I, I price it based on my time. How much time does it take me to do the job? If it's quicker to buy something to do the job quickly, well then I'll buy an accessory to do that. The other thing I've been experimenting with recently is just these uh, sanding discs which need a backing plate. And I was wondering whether it would be cheaper to use something like this than to pay for a Bosch uh, flap disc. And these are like 95 cents or something similar per, per wheel or per disc. Uh, you know, the backing disc was five bucks. Uh, so if I could do more than say seven, you know, seven of these would equal one of these. So do they last about the same amount of time? Well, as far as I can tell in my non-scientific experiment, this guy still wins out. Get a far more material removed with this than you would with seven of these. So, you know, it was just an experiment to see what would happen. I'll use them up at some point. But that's my favorite accessories and I'll show these in use in a future video um, especially when it comes to removing paint and uh, in other operations of uh, metalworking so thanks for watching